It looks something like this. Hello gorgeous, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a fall makeup video for you, routine, tutorial, whatever you wanna call it. I do one every fall, but usually they're pretty glam. This time it's kind of toned down and I'm really excited about it because I've really wanted to show you guys a glossy lid look and this is my first one. So as you can see, I've got the glossy lids. This look is very toned down, it's very neutral, but I'm also showing you updated my updated foundation that I've been using. This lid look I think is so sexy for a date night isn't it pretty and because it's so glossy and shimmery and when the light grabs it like it, it just like kind of pow I think it's great for holidays so I'm gonna show you exactly how to get this look today here we go all right guys so to get started we're gonna prime our faces using Laura Mercier's foundation primer this is the hydrating formula I'm really focusing on the areas that I want to make sure are extra primed so I get some good coverage like around the nose the chin for foundation, using MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation, I love this foundation. It looks a little bit yellow, but at the end you'll see it blends perfectly. My under eyes, I'm just going to cancel out those circles using a peach corrector. This one is from Pixie by Petra. For concealer, I'm using IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eyes. I typically go with the medium shade, just apply it directly under my eyes, blend it out with a damp beauty blender, and anywhere else I need just a little bit of extra coverage. To add a little bit of extra highlight, I'm using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is in Chantilly. Applying it, you know, like the typical V shape under the eyes. And then I'm also using this IT Cosmetics Highlighting Concealer, which is really, really great. And then again, blending it all out with a damp beauty blender. Setting my under eyes with some loose powder from Kat Von D. And then this is my new favorite pressed powder. This is the CC Better Than Your Skin Pressed Powder from It Cosmetics. So good. I'm priming my lids with the Marc Jacobs Eye Primer. This is a great primer just from lash line to brow bone. And for brows, using Benefit Cosmetics, this is Cabrow. I've been using this on an everyday basis and just switch up which brow brush I'm actually applying it with. Wherever I'm going to apply my highlighter later, I'm gonna apply a base for. This is the Burberry Fresh Glow Luminous Fluid Base. Just tapping it on wherever, again, my highlighter is gonna go later. For eyeshadow, starting with the Naked Heat Palette from Urban Decay. I love this palette, you guys already know that. Using the nude shade, setting my base all over the lid. And then I'm going with this Marc Jacobs palette, which is insane, it's so beautiful. Again, going with the nude shade and just applying that all over. Just curling my lashes and throwing on some mascara using the IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. Love this, use it on an everyday basis. For bronzer, using the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer Perfect Tan, along with the Marc Jacobs brush. I use this, again, also on an everyday basis because it's so good. It's just matte and it's very light and it's very buildable, which is amazing. Applying the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Blush with my Real Techniques Blush Brush. Applying a nude lip pencil, this one is from ColourPop, and then I want my brows to stay in place, so I'm using the IT Cosmetics Brow Power Pomade, just a clear brow gel, and it just helps them kind of stay in place all day. I'm applying Bobbi Brown's Crushed Lip Color. This is their lipstick in the color Bare, just a really pretty rosy nude. Then I'm topping it off with Max Lipstick in Yash, and it just really makes the most perfect nude color for fall, in my opinion. I really want that glowy look, and guys, I'm not even exaggerating, I've been obsessed with this highlighter. This is the Burberry Fresh Glow Highlighter. It is stunning. I mean, like, you can see it right there as I'm applying it. It just grabs the light, and it's so beautiful. So before I go into the whole eye part, which is the best part, in my opinion, um, I wanna set my makeup, so I'm applying my Tarte Spritz all over my face. And now let's get into those glossy lids. Okay, so this is just one product, it's all it is. I like to set my base, which is why I did the nude shadow, and then I apply the Milk Makeup Eye Vinyl. This is in color Bridge, which is a nude, and I just use my finger and apply it, and then I take the applicator and then just really spread it out. And as you can see, you get that perfectly glossed lid. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I love glossy lids. I feel like people don't wear them enough. I've never been out and seen a girl wearing them ever. And I'm like, why? I think they're so sexy. Like I said, the one bad thing about them is that your hair does get a little bit like tangled up because it's kind of like the equivalent of wearing Vaseline on your lids, but it's a little bit more tackier. 
Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind. This is really great if you're gonna have an updo because then you don't have to worry about any, your hair getting in there. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what video you wanna see from me next. What tutorial, what look, whatever. Shoot. So leave a comment below. Let me know what video you want to see from me next. Do you want to see some holiday makeup looks? What do you want to see? Let me know. And don't forget to visit me on my blog, AngelaLeanter.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. Au revoir.